Hello and welcome to Board Game Gumbo. Today we've got some new WizKids products to show off to you. We've got two of their new pre-painted uh, miniature sets, one for D&D, Snowbound, and one for Pathfinder, which is the Bestiary Unleashed. And as with all things that we get from WizKids, we like to do a giveaway because they're very generous with what they send us. So we are gonna be showing you the Bestiary Unleashed, which is their upcoming set. It's gonna be releasing soon as of the filming of this video. And actually, we're gonna be giving away this entire brick of Snowbound figures. So if you're interested in the giveaway, all you gotta do is leave a comment uh, with hashtag WizKids. And our, our giveaways are limited to continental US just because of shipping costs, but one lucky winner will get this entire booster brick sent to them. So that's our giveaway uh, out of the way. So let's go ahead and take a look at these Pathfinder figures that uh, WizKids is making. Obviously, they, WizKids has a lot of, of these pre-painted pre figures at this time. Um, a booster brick like this will set you back about $150. But for that, you're going to get a total of 32 figures uh, in these eight boxes. Now, it has been a while since I've bought these myself. I did used to buy the um, cases. By, I used to buy these figures by the cases back when they were doing um, the D&D sets for the different adventure paths. So the uh, Descent into Avernus set and things like that. And one of the good things about these figures is that if you do go for a case, which is again, a little pricey, uh, you're, going, you're guaranteed one of every figure. Um, I don't know exactly how many figures are in the sets now. It looks like, there we go, 47. And each set also does a larger figure that you can buy separately. Uh, in this case, it's a gargantuan green dragon, which you might be able to see on the back of the box there. And those are available separately. Um, let's go ahead and get into some of these boxes and we'll take a look at what they got. All right, so box number one here. Again, so you're gonna get at least four figures per box, or I believe it's exactly four figures per box. You're gonna get either one large or huge figure, and then you're gonna get three either medium or small figures. Our large figure here is it's one of the demons that I can't pronounce. Uh custodial demon. Very cool looking. I like that they do the clear bases now. They didn't always used to do the clear bases, uh, but it looks very good uh, put on a map so you can see the terrain beneath them. We got a couple of medium figures here. We got a warg. And here it looks like we just got a Animated armor. I was going to say a town guard, but that's an animated armor. And then our last figure for box one is a sod hound. Looks like a pit bull to me. All right, box one out of the way. Moving on. Here we got something that looks like a, a Freedy, maybe. Yep, that is an Afridi. And very cool looking, especially the semi-translucent fire effect off the sword. And it's nice to see, see female figures. You get uh, overabundance of male figures usually in these sets, so. That's really cool to see. Well, we got another hound. We got uh, an orc warrior. Got a, a little bend to his axe, 
but with these plastic figures, that's a real easy fix. There we go. I like especially the spears on his back. Very nicely done. So here is a Janny, a type of Jen. I believe these are the wind genies. I could be wrong. Certainly looks like a wind effect on the bottom there. Very cool with the billowing cloak and also the headscarf. I mean, WizKids has really, really come a long way with the, not only the painting, but also the detail pieces. I mean, you can even see, I don't know how well you can see his robe actually has, it's not just a solid color. It's got a little bit of color variation in it. It's really nice. All right, box number three. Looks like another type of gin. Yep, so just a, a genie this time. Again, another female sculpt, which is nice to have. You can especially like the scabbard here, which you can see, and is actually a separate piece underneath the cloak. Very cool. And again, the clear bases really help with a figure like this. That's an air genie. It really gives it that floating effect, which is really nice. All right, let's see what our small figures are. We've got a another demon, Keiko demon. Maybe pronouncing that incorrectly. This looks, uh, this reminds me of uh, the Langoliers. I don't know if anybody here is uh, old enough to remember that movie, but that looks like a Langolier to me. Don't even have to look at that one. That's clearly a mummy. And here we have an Arbiter Aeon. I like these flying bases that they do, these clear flying bases. And this guy's just cool. His The center of them is Semi, semi translucent. So it looks really cool with his wings popping out the back. I like that figure a lot. All right, moving on about halfway done now. And we have a large base for a celestial defender. Very cool looking guy with the lance. A lot of gold on him, obviously. I like that. What else we have? Looks like another, oh, this one's different. This is the Cassian Angel. And these are these little uh, living helmets. So these are cool creatures. If you've ever um, encountered them before, they're essentially angelic creatures, but you can actually wear them as helmets. They are a flying helmet, as you can see. And next we got a really cool Grim Reaper. That is very nice. Grim Reaper figures are always gonna be, you know, a highlight, but that one's really cool. All right, and something else that's flying here. This is a Zephyr Hulk. So a translucent Hulk, probably some type of celestial I'm imagining or elemental. Cool looking Hulk, all right.
A lot of uh, gin and genies in this one. This is a shaitan. The rope on there is nice. It's actually free flowing, so it's not attached to the figure. That's kind of cool. So a Medusa, a Ranger Medusa, kind of cool. You don't, you often, when you see Medusas, you know, the snake hair is obviously the most prominent feature. They've obviously gone a different way with this one where you can just barely make out the uh, snake hair underneath the hood, but I like it. It's different and it's interesting. Very cool. Next, we have a succubus. So on this one, I especially like, I guess it's a shawl, this little semi-translucent thing that's going around her shoulders and behind her back. But obviously the wings are really nice and not fragile at all. The tail with the barbed tip that's a good figure. And here we've got a brine shark. So for all of you who play uh, boat adventures, you now have sharks. All right, getting near the end here. Oh, and we've got our first repeat on the large figure, another shaitan here. And again, you can see that rope is in a slightly different position here because it is detached from the figure. We've got another orc here. This one's slightly different because this one is wielding the spear. And again, a slight bit of warpage on the spear. This one's wielding the spear and he's got the ax on his back where the other one was holding the ax and had the spears on his back. So a, a duplicate, I guess, but with a different weapon layout. So not really a duplicate. And then we've got some type of rat here, a cinder rat. So he is semi translucent. I don't know how well it's coming off on camera. There you go. So he's actually got a translucent orange mixed in with a translucent black to kind of represent the fire. And it's pretty cool effect. The light catches that orange really nicely. I like that. Next, we've got a giant gecko. This one's just really well painted. I mean, for something, if you're gonna do something that's kind of um, as common as a gecko, you know, this isn't a succubus. It doesn't have wings or a barbed tail or, you know, it's not holding weapons or anything. Um, it's really gonna come down to the, the paint job. And this is really outstanding. I mean, even his eyes, you can see the pupil in his eyes. That's cool. All right. Two more to go. Oh, this one doesn't have, this is a very large one. This is something really impressive. Uh, a bronze dragon, maybe? Adult copper dragon. And that is by far the biggest figure we've seen yet. But that is really cool. Again, the flying bases, I really like. I like the fact even that they, they're kind of um, murky. They're not clear plastic. I don't know why, but for whatever reason, it just seems more appropriate to me. And of course, the fire breath is really cool. All right, well, that's 
I really like this um, Afridi over here, but that dragon is a, a strong contender for my favorite figure so far. Of course, a goblin. Uh, it would not be Pathfinder without a goblin, and he is appropriately a goblin pyro. Because, I mean, I think that's redundant. I think goblins are pretty much pyros, whether they cast flame magic or not. So that's probably unnecessary redundancy there. Uh, I got a friend who is a huge fan of the Pathfinder Goblin, so he will definitely be getting this one. All right, we got a another repeat here, another one of the orcs with the axe. But, I mean, it's never a bad thing to have a bunch of orcs. They are one of the most common enemies and show up in groups. It's also a nice um, player figure if you're playing an orc. Okay, and the last one for this box is a Hobgoblin Arbalist. So the Goblin's larger cousins, and this one wielding a crossbow. Crossbows, I think, are maybe one of the more uncommon weapons you find on figures, so it's nice to be able to, to see that there. I think you're more than likely to find something wielding a bow than a crossbow, at least as a figure. All right, and then our final box here. So it looks like we got most of the... Looks like we got most of the um, the different gens. So we got the fire, we had a um, air one before, we have the wind one, and now we have the water one, which is a Merid. So quite a bit of bending in his trident, but again, with these plastic figures, that's a really simple fix. You can actually see he's got like tattooing on his back, which is really cool, as well as on his arms and his chest here and all over him, basically. And I really like the wave, obviously. It's a very nice touch. All right, our last three figures here. Oh, we got a zombie. Can never have too many zombies. They show up a lot. Uh, this one is a plague zombie. Looks like we got another one of the Zephyr Falcons. Little translucent hawks, but don't mind that. It is a cool looking figure. And our last figure here is an ooze. So we got a sewer ooze. All right, guys, so that's, um, that is a brick of the Pathfinder Bestiary Unleashed. Um, again, for our giveaway, all you gotta do is you gotta comment uh, with hashtag WizKids, and we will select somebody who has done so, and they will win that entire booster brick of the Snowbound set. So don't forget to do that. And thank you guys for watching. Mm -hmm.